Hi, I'm Wendy from Dr. Levy and Associates Office. In our first video of the series, Stages of Tooth Decay, we talked about the four main stages. In our second video, Demineralization, we focused on the first stage, and then we proceeded to stage two, Enamel Decay. Today, we're gonna to focus on the third stage, Dentin Decay. Our teeth are covered by a very strong layer of enamel, which is stronger than bone. The acids produced by the bacteria on your teeth manage to gradually break through the enamel, creating a hole called a cavity. Then the decay caused by the bacteria reaches the inner layer of the tooth called the dentin. Dentin is far less strong than enamel. Because it is so much softer than the outer layer, cavities can spread at a faster rate once the decay reaches the dentin. Cavities can vary in size. The longer it is before you go to the dentist, the larger the cavity gets. The decay in the dentin causes the tooth to be so weak that we could see a large hole. Sometimes the tooth even breaks. Usually, when decay reaches the dentin, you'll feel something is wrong with your tooth. You may start to feel tooth sensitivity or pain when the tooth is exposed to hot and cold foods and drinks. If your teeth feel sensitive or hurt when you eat ice cream or when you enjoy sweetened coffee or tea, you may want to have your dentist check it out. Your tooth will hurt because dentin contains tubules that lead to the nerve of the tooth. As the bacteria gets closer to the nerve inside the tooth, the nerve will become sensitive. Professional treatment is the only option to permanently ease the pain and save the tooth from further decay. The dentist would need to use a drill to remove the bacteria and decay within the tooth. After the tooth is cleaned out, the hole would need a filling or maybe a crown if the cavity is very large. And with that, the tooth would be restored to a normal appearance and function. A filling is made of resin, amalgam, porcelain, or gold and completely fills the hole left by the bacterial decay. Most fillings are quickly done at the dentist office and if caught early enough, you may not even require to be numbed. A crown is a restoration that completely covers the entire tooth. Think of it as a snug cap over your tooth. Crowns are needed when too much tooth structure is damaged by decay. First, the dentist removes the entire decayed area. If there's too much tooth missing, Due to decay, a filling material can be used to build up enough tooth structure for a crown. Next, the dental assistant helps take an impression or mold of your teeth. The impression is sent to a dental lab who creates a crown made from porcelain and metal. Not to worry, the color of the crown placed on the tooth should look like any other tooth in your mouth. It's important to note that when a tooth has been crowned, it is not protected from decay. Bacteria can enter the inside of a crown at the gum line, which is also why it is so important to take good care of your gums. As always, even if all of your teeth have fillings and crowns, Please continue to maintain good oral hygiene. Brush twice a day and floss, especially around the crown where the gum meets the tooth. See your dentist and hygienist for regular checkups. In our next video, a cavity has advanced to the nerve center of the tooth, causing infection. Before a cavity reaches the last stage, you have a chance to prevent it by seeing your dentist.